welcome back to my channel today i'm going to go over the resort that i went to the melia jardines del rey in cayo coco and give you a quick tour and all the tips and tricks that i wish i knew sooner this is me and my sisters enjoying our last delicious meal before we go to prison <laughs> if you've been to uh cuba you know exactly what i'm talking about so we landed pretty late um a surprise surprise if you are going through sunwing um you're always expected to be delayed uh, so we landed very late and there wasn't much going on we landed i would think around around 2 a.m um so when we got there the bus ride by the way from the airport to the hotel was roughly about 15 20 minutes which is amazing I'm um, giving you a quick tour here of the bedroom. It is a little bit dark because it is nighttime, um, but there were two beds and one pull-out bed. One thing I really liked about this room is that there was a ton of storage. So I went with my two sisters and we packed a lot of stuff and we were able to share the entire apartment without having any issues with storage. The only bad thing I would say about the room is that the washroom was a little like dinky looking <laughs> it wasn't amazing and the lighting was horrible like you can barely see when you're in there but i was trying to show you the view but since it was 2 a.m there wasn't much to look at but i will show you guys a quick view uh in the daytime overall i was really happy with this room i think it was perfect i love the fact that there was a long mirror there's a tv a uh refrigerator it's pretty small but i mean it was good just to put your water bottles in there and like i said there was enough storage for us three which was a relief they had a coffee machine by the way and the sink was outside of the washroom so it was really good when me and my sisters wanted to brush our teeth and one of them was in the washroom it was very convenient now i'm gonna show you the view from our apartment um, so my sisters and I actually booked our vacation very last minute. We booked it the day before we were leaving. So obviously there wasn't much options for where we wanted our hotel to be. There are a ton of hotels, by the way, um, in this resort. It's a massive, massive resort. Uh, we were, because we booked last minute, we were in the building all the way in the back. Um, so our view wasn't the pool or the beach, but like I said, it was expected because we booked so last minute. By the way, one thing you do need to know about this hotel is that there are no elevators. So if you are handicapped or not able to walk up the stairs, it's only three levels, but you won't be able to take an elevator. So I'm just going to walk you through our typical morning. I uh, would wake up and walk to the lobby and have our coffee there. Um, like I said, this hotel is really big and because we were at the end of the hotel, uh, sorry, the end of the where all the hotels are, um, the walk was a little bit far compared to other hotels. Um, from our hotel, which was I believe number 23, we would walk maybe about two minutes to get to the lobby and we would go there every morning. We would skip breakfast because honestly, breakfast just put us in a horrible <laughs> mood. The food is horrible. Like if you have been to cuba before you know exactly what i'm talking about whether it's a five star ten star two star the food is all just the same nothing amazing or good um but there is one restaurant in the hotel that i will tell you in a bit that was actually like they had such good food i was shocked like it's something i would come to canada and eat if i could so for breakfast they did have some options you could do um, eggs, there's a station for eggs. You could do omelets, scrambled eggs, etc. Um, and then they had cereal. I would stay away from the cereal. It was extremely stale. It just felt like it's been sitting there for years. Um, and they just had like little things that you can snack on, some dessert in the morning. But honestly, I, if you're not a breakfast person, just skip it and go to the lobby and have a nice coffee. Their coffees are amazing. Their cappuccino was my favorite. I'd have that every morning. So here is the lobby. This side on my left is where you would check in. It's also customer service if you need towels, etc. Because their phones don't work, by the way, um, in your hotel room. So you're going to have to walk there every day and ask for whatever you need. Um, there is a bar that is 24-7. The coffee is right beside the bar. 
Um, like I said, their coffees are so good. I would definitely go there and have a cappuccino if you are into it. Something I love and miss actually about this place is during the nighttime they have a lot of dancing. There's entertainment on the right side. There is a little like stage area um, where they do dances and so on. I will show you later on in the video. But they do dancing in the lobby and it's so nice because it's such an open and airy area. And it's just so nice to be dancing there with the music and everything. So we're just walking to get lunch on the right side. There are two shops that you can buy cigarettes, cigars, etc. Souvenirs as well. So going into the breakfast place, it's a really, really big place. Keep in mind, there's lots of bugs there, mostly flies, no, no cockroaches or anything. Um, but there is also a snack bar, by the way, that's open 24-7 as well. There are hot dogs that they have and fries. Uh, we found that out actually a couple days after. <laughs> but their uh, stuff was really good. This is the Cuban restaurant that I was telling you about. They sold beef. The, I believe it was braised beef, but it was delicious. You definitely have to book there. Make sure that you reserve as soon as you land. So there are these buggies that you can go around with obviously if you get tired walking around the resort. It is a pretty big resort as I said. Um, so we're going through the pool areas. They have three pools. One of them is a quiet pool. One of them is like the loud pool which by the way they have like um, dancing and it's like a pool party from 1 to 5 every day. And then there's one that's just kind of like very shallow. I believe it's like for the children. Some things to note as well is around the corner there are a few shops as well. Um, there's a bowling alley. You can play, uh, I believe, scooters or something like that. They have some activities there. Um, there's a coffee shop. The gym is, is around the corner. So there's a few things that you can do if you don't feel like hanging out in the sun. You just want to be indoors. They actually also have a sushi restaurant in that market area. Um, but it's not covered by your uh, reservation or your resort. You would just pay for that. I haven't tried it. I wasn't. I was just scared to have sushi, by the way. So, if you try it and it's good, let me know. I would love to come back to this resort actually and, and try a few things that I didn't. There are some things that were um, included. I believe paddle boarding was free. We didn't do that. I wish I did. But then you can pay for other excursions. I believe they had snorkeling, um, like uh, you can rent boats, etc. Um, but you should plan ahead um, if you wanted to do that. We were kind of, like I said, this trip was very last minute. So we didn't really plan much other than just kind of relaxing, enjoying the beach and the pools. So we are now walking to the beach. My favorite part, honestly, the beach is amazing. It's breathtaking. It's worth every penny that we paid for. This was the reason why we came to this resort, actually. Um, the beach is very long. It's huge. It connects to other resorts as well. You are actually able to go to the other resorts. I had friends that were staying next door at the Memories Flamenco Resort. And we literally just kind of walked through the beach and went and saw them for a little bit. But like I said, the beach is extremely huge. It's long and there are different areas if depending on what you want to do. So there's an area where it's loud. They play music. It's near the bar. And then if you walk to the right away from the bar all the way down, it's a quieter area. Um, also, there aren't much rocks and stuff on the right side. When you're near the bar area, there are rocks and it's kind of hard to swim there unless you kind of pass them. But it's a very clean and beautiful beach.
now for the night uh, life that they have. As I mentioned, they do have performers that come in, do their salsa, bachata dancing, and just like really interesting things. You get to see a little bit of their culture and hear their nice music. Um, I just, I never really went there every night. Like I said, they would have this maybe from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So just for an hour, they'd have it. But by that time, usually me and my sisters are getting ready to go so that we can hang out in the lobby. And like I said, in the lobby at um, around 10, 10 p.m. to like midnight, depending on the day. Sometimes it goes a bit longer. Sometimes it's cut shorter. But they have dancing. And then you can kind of do like... Um, line dancing and choreographed dancing you basically follow the dj he'll teach you how to dance it's just such a vibe i honestly really really love this resort i would definitely come back again um but like i said if you're going to cuba it's kind of expected that their food is not amazing just keep that in mind um we packed actually noodles with us instant noodles and it just like helped us on the dates that we were starving hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe i do travel a lot and i'd love to show you other resorts that i've been to